Hi guys, welcome back. So in this week's video, we're going to be carrying on with the knurling tool that we've been doing in the previous videos. Just to get you up to date on where we are and sort of the progress along in the build. This is where we're at now. The main body is completed and the knurling pivot arms, they're all completed as well. So hopefully by the end of today's video, we'll have the knurling wheels attached into the arms and we'll also sort of have the lead screw and pivot nuts, let's call them, made also into the arms. So with that being in mind, let's jump straight into this. So with both these pins now machined, we can assemble the knurling wheels in there. Ooh. Nice. So both of them are free spinning and fairly flush with the outside there and on the back pretty much flush with the back as well so that's the knurling wheel screws sorted next thing I want to address now is these lobed sections here so going to be starting the work over on the lathe and finishing it up on the milling machine so let's start with them
Now, with these half moon shaped pieces all finished, I can actually assemble this for the first time and get a feel of how this thing's going to perform. So, in the kit that comes with the knurling tool, you get this spring which needs to sit here in the middle. So, threading all this together, that's going to go something like that. Well, not the easiest thing to put together, but got ourselves a knurling tool. So, this is actually starting to look pretty cool. Starting to look like the actual tool that we set out to do. So, next thing to do now is actually make this a proper lead screw with a hand wheel on the end. Um, I'll probably get the lead screw done today, but I think I'm going to leave the turn knob and testing this thing until next week's video. So, going to bash on, get this lead screw all done, and then once that's done, we'll put it all back together again. That about sums up today's video then. So really happy with the progress that we've made today. We've got the lead screw all finished now, the screws that will hold on the nails, and also these half moon sort of pivot shapes to allow for this thing to sort of self-center. So that's really cool. Join me in the next video where we'll be getting this thing all finished off and testing it over on the Harrison M300 lathe as that's what this project was all about getting a knurling tool suitable for my big lathe. So, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for the channel. But for now, that's it for today. See you in the next one, guys.